up for sale 1964 Ford Custom 500. I'm gonna walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 64 Ford Custom 500, finished in a little bit of an off-white with red and white interior. FE390 motor, dual four-barrel carbs on it, four-speed top loader, transmission, and as always, go around it, put out anything I do see, fire it up, drive it, and get in for the driving, show you how nice it does drive, and run, for that matter. Uh, but anyway, we will start here in the front on the bumper. As always, bumper is... I would say very nice condition. You see a couple little light marks on it there, and a few more there, but just overall, very, very shiny, looks nice. Uh, I would say the same deal goes for the grill, trim in the front as well. Uh, what, what? First off, what a solid car this is, all original sheet metal, uh, no repairs underneath the car, inner rockers, you know, inner lower quarters, trunk pan original. It's got the stampings on it uh, for original body panels. And I'll, show, I'll show you, you know, them when I get to them, of course. But anyway, we're here. I mean, the, the hood fitment that you see lines up super nice. You see a little, little nick on the edge of the paint, but that lines up super, super nice. And a uh, little nick right there. But again, same deal here. Lines up sweet. Uh, really, just super nice paint trim. Uh, the radial tires with the little chrome wheels on there they look great on the car um, all the glass is sweet there's just one stone chip right here maybe stone chip maybe a bb who knows um it will pop the hood if i remember where that would be is this it this is it okay and one more right here anyway 390 FE motor. It's got a 427 intake on it as well, which is super cool. I have an R code right now, so I know from just comparing the two. Uh, dual four barrel carburetors on there. Uh, rebuilt engine. Uh, the previous owner since 2009 had it built, put it in. There's your little uh, your VIN there. Stamping there on the original panel. Uh, stamping there. Stamping there. Um, but just 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 neat here. It's you know pretty stock looking it's got the proper exhaust manifolds on there lock is painted properly uh with the 427 you know style intake on there that's super cool um and he put the four speed top loader transmission in it as well uh smooth running drives very nice um if anything just jumps out at me right now while i'm standing here looking at it just just clean as well all the way around you know inner fenders uh you know support here stuff like that uh you know see your alternator down there um, firewall is very clean. I also have a, it needs to be rebuilt, but just included. I got it. I might as well pass it along. It's a full power steering setup for it. Uh, you know, if you, if you'd want to use that or put it in or just throw it out, that goes along with it. I really like these year Fords. They're pretty cool. Galaxies. The custom 500 with the post is just neat. You don't see very many of them. Lines up nice. You see two little marks down there. I, I would have touched them up, but I don't have a proper white. So rather than just sticking white on cream and making it look worse, I left it. And I know over here, it's mostly driver's side. The wife must not have gotten in. You know, a couple door edge marks and then a couple nicks right there. But the other side's like very very minor of that we go here this trim super nice all the way around paint here as well and the condition of the glass and the finish in there you could you could tell it's quality a couple other notes for how solid the car actually is one nice finish in there or, or uh, hem I just had that red galaxy that was Bondo in here so you know nice to see that and uh, door tag is in place I got to take a picture of that but anyway like I said red and white interior uh, door panels look to be you know mostly recent carpet looks new seats front and rear actually look brand new headliner looks brand new very nicely done 
Um, there you go. Zoom back out. Proper steering wheel. And the dash is super nice. You know, a couple added gauges down there. Quality assurance. Nice tack, of course, now that you got four-speed top-loader transmission, which is a great transmission, by the way. I know you all know that. Just reiterating. Nice dash. And then tucked away in here is a radio with the manual. Very nicely done. So it keeps the dash unmolested with a stock-looking radio. Very cool. Very cool. It shows 56,000 miles. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Get you a little better close-up of the seat here. You could even see, like, how recent it is with the seatbelt clamp. Back seat with seatbelts as well. Very nice. Door panels, same deal there. This finish is super nice all the way around. See two little, actually, two little marks right there. But this is, this is mint. And you can even see the little layer of black paint down there. That's nice finish. Uh, exhaust sounds really nice as well. It's stainless steel. I'd like to refocus my camera for a second. Hold on. There we go another reason of you know how I would say sort of original sheet metal and stuff like that is probably holes from where the original selling dealer tag would have been I would say the bumper in the back is pretty close to the front a little less wear on it but just as nice just as shiny um, trim looks nice as well I know maybe they brushed it here and they kind of uh, got a little wear on it, but you know, you could easily buy a replacement if you wanted to. It doesn't look bad. It kind of blends in. Super nice fitment here on the lid. We go over here and show you down here. Nicely finished here with a couple speakers in for the radio. A little nick right there. but solid this is this is you know you, you want to see you want to see this you don't want to see excuse me you don't want to see replacement panels super nice under there as well looks like a new locking mechanism too or newer
nice in here as well, what you want to see. And again, you can see the nice style of paint that this is, because look, they didn't paint over the bolts in the door jam. This door panel is nice. You see a couple little rips on it there. A couple there. Clean. These look nice. I see these, maybe like a like a rust proofing of some sort, maybe. I could be wrong. Sometimes they say on it what they are. I know the other side has it. We'll be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and check it out. 64, custom 500. Finished in a little bit of an off-white. Again, something that came off. A little bit of an off-white. With red and white interior. 390. Uh, dual four-barrel carbs on there. Top loader, four-speed transmission. And, uh, yeah, original sheet metal. Super cool car. And uh, we will fire it up now and then drive it. Thank you. All right. Dual carbs. She moves. Yeah. I love the floor shifter. Yeah, me too. Maybe we'll go say hi to Tommy D. Appreciate the trip. 
Transformer. Mm-hmm. That's a Transformer from the movie. Top loader is their heavy duty transmission. Our code. I'm not going. It's a junk.